Well, battling hair loss is something that most people do not have to deal with until maybe middle or older age. Mm. However, hair loss in younger adults is surprisingly on the rise. You know, experts are still researching the exact cause, but so far, they say many common factors include diet, mm -hmm. hormonal changes, overstyling your hair with products, and even the effects of a COVID infection. So while this reality is understandably very upsetting to most people at any age, there's at least one young woman who is taking her hair loss in comedic stride. Have you seen this? All I know, you could be Batman! I am not Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> so that video was posted by our very own company's Darby Kruger, who works in our promotions department. She is such a joy to work with, and little did we realize you are also a viral TikToker because of this. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. You've been on TikTok for a while, yeah. but yes. before we start talking about that, tell us a little bit first about your diagnosis. So in around August and September, I noticed some hair thinning, mm. and I was like, did I pull a chunk of hair out accidentally? What yeah. happened? eventually got diagnosis alopecia areata mm. and it's been taken over since. And it's something that I have to assume is part of the coping process. When did you decide to go, okay, I'm going to lean into this and I know you bring so much joy to people that I'm sure are also dealing with this. Oh yeah. Um, I've been on TikTok forever. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I thought this is just something I need to share as well because it's not talked about a lot. Yeah. And I didn't know until I started posting that so many people are going through different types of alopecia and hair loss in general. Wow. And your video, the one that we showed, got 10 million views, <laughs> yeah. which is incredible. Yeah. What has been the response from people who have seen your social media content? Very positive. Yeah. Surprisingly, overwhelmingly positive. Um, few trolls here and there, it's whatever. I love that you own them too. And yeah. that's the best part because, <laughs> yeah. you know, and that's the best way to do it. You lean into it because you've also gone through, you know, things that you've tried. And for mm -hmm. people that are watching, yes. what are some of the things that you've tried? Uh, steroid injections okay. into the scalp. I've had steroid topicals I rubbed into my scalp. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm on a steroid six week trial and we'll wow. see what happens then. So you just keep trying different yep. things, but you've also really leaned into this and you're like kind of embracing it. Yeah. So tell us in what ways you've done that. Um, I've embraced it just by posting every day. I do my alopecia journey on my TikTok all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I just want to share and let people know it's all right to have right. differences and flaws. And sometimes you're showing it, but sometimes you're like covering it up. Yeah, it just depends on how I feel that day. Like mm -hmm. right now I'm showing it all, but some days I'll wear a bandana, I'll have a comb over. I just was gonna say, we're feeling. missing Jill, <laughs> Brianna, and Miss Kitty. I don't know where they are. <laughs> That's, you, uh, that, that, the TikTok reel you did on that, or TikTok video. Yeah, my I hair mean, toppers. And so you do have different hair toppers. Talk yes. about that, because that is really creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I decided like, instead of a full wig, it's these half hair toppers, and people were encouraging me to try different clip and bangs, and like a headband that has bangs attached. Wow. And so however I'm feeling that day, if I don't want to deal with like, parting my hair a certain way, I just throw on the headband yeah. and I have bangs. I had no so idea those existed and I'm sure yeah. people yeah. watching are going, oh my goodness, that can help me or someone yeah. I know as well. Yeah, that's so interesting. And so I know that as a woman, yeah. like your yeah. hair is so important. It's like part of your identity. So what advice do you have for women who are going through yeah. what you are going through in losing your hair? I mean, obviously you're making light of it, yes. but I know that this is like a really uh, tough journey for you. Yeah. And it's, um, it took me a while to realize that like hair does not define your beauty as a mm -hmm. woman. And it's just like what makes you, what inside of you is what makes you beautiful and how yeah. you present yourself to the world. Hair does not matter, obviously. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I think other people, it's not just dealing with alopecia, but that can be just yeah. strewn across so many different things people yeah. are dealing with that might be subconscious, but you're inspiring them to just own it and be free because you are a beautiful person. <laughs> right, I know. You're beautiful no matter what's happening with your hair. Where can people find you on TikTok? Uh, Darby Ann 7, D A R B Y A N N 7. Nice. I mean, you know, it's gonna, one or two people that go on there aren't gonna make a difference in your millions of views. <laughs> but no, everyone needs to follow her. And it's not just the alopecia content, but you have so many funny things about Ohio. Yes. And uh, you're just a really inspiring light. That's fantastic. I just like talking. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Darby. Thank it's you. always great talking to you. Yes. And we'll be right back.